Yesterday, I was reading through the comment section of our other channel, Success Secret TV, when I saw a particular comment. The commenter wrote something like, I'm now 40 years old and I just started reading books. So far, books have been changing my life. When I read this comment, I paused and tried to swallow that. 40 years and just started reading books about life and money. What kind of society trains such people? How can a 40-year-old man just start learning about life or money? Here, this man is lucky to have discovered the precious gifts the books offer, even at age 40, because most people in the world would not even discover that all their lives. However, when I think about my life, starting to read at around age 17, I could feel it that 40 is a long year to read books about life or money. In today's video, I will share with you 5 books I've read about money which made a great impact in my life. If you are between the ages of 15 and 40, we specially created this channel for you. So, don't forget to subscribe. The Purple Cow by Seth Godin I once told a friend that nobody should ever start a business until they have read The Purple Cow. This is because it is easy to miss the fundamentals that make a business succeed as nobody around you quite understands what they are. The fundamentals are about being different. A black cow is normal. An ash color in the cow is normal. What is not normal is the purple cow. So when people see the purple cow, they wait and pay attention. And as I've explained on Success Secrets TV several times, your number one asset as an entrepreneur is the attention because if you don't get the attention, you don't get sales. Seth Godin uses stories of several smart individuals who have built purple cows into their concept and those stories are likely to spark something in your brain to make you understand how you can create a purple cow yourself. Positioning – The Battle for Your Mind by Isle Rees and Jack Trout Most entrepreneurs think businesses that succeed are those who create great products. But it is not true. Isle Rees and Jack Trout in this wonderful book Prove that businesses that succeed are those who can create a good position in the public's mind before anyone else. Think about Coca-Cola and Pepsi. Several blind tests have shown that more people prefer the taste of Pepsi. Yet when these people open their eyes, they buy Coca-Cola. There was a man whom in 1985-1986, when Coca-Cola changed their formula, he wanted to fight with everyone who did that. Yet this man preferred Pepsi's taste in a blind taste test. That's how irrational human nature is and you have to understand this. Al Rees and Jack Trout said it's better to be first than to be better because being first in a particular market category allows you to enter people's minds first. While you might lose that golden opportunity if you're careless, it's easier to maintain your first position than to fight for it after three other people occupy the ladder. You Can Negotiate Anything by Herb Cohen I bought this book in the year 2008. I borrowed a friend who didn't return it and I had to buy it again. I didn't read this book, I ate it because it's probably one of the best 5 books I've read in my entire life. Every human negotiates every day but if you want to be an entrepreneur that puts you 10 times in the position of negotiation than other people. Take for instance, in the last 1 month, my company had been going through a lot of things, buying different stuff for our studio hiring different people and personally, I have had to convince my teammate that something they think is not possible is very possible. Even this morning, I have negotiated even though I'm writing the script about 9 a.m. It's that crazy. As an entrepreneur, negotiate with your creditors, your suppliers, your teammates and your employees and everybody. Negotiation is your number one job and you can't afford to know how to do it. So, I advise you Read You Can Negotiate Anything by Herb Cohen The E-Myth Revisited by Michael Gerber What often happens is that people hate their jobs because they hate their boss. They are underpaid or working too much. With this anger, they say to themselves, I can do everything my employer is doing to make money. Why don't I just start doing his business and make the money he makes? The problem, however, starts becoming obvious when these people start their own business and start working every day of their lives, several hours each day because they are now doing many things that business requires. What most people don't realize is that they do not build businesses with technical knowledge. You don't build an engineering company because you're an engineer or a web designing company because you're a web designer. Inside every true entrepreneur lies different skills, 
human relationship, managerial, technical, leadership, etc. And you have to understand this. Another important point in this book is that true entrepreneurs don't work in their businesses. They work on their businesses. The meaning of this is very simple. Your goal as an entrepreneur is to get your business running without your impute. This of course will not happen when you are starting out. But if you cannot focus on how to make it happen, you'll end up being a slave to your business, which is not what you want to do. Idea Virus by Seth Gordon I know it's not fair to mention two books from a single author in a list of five books. But I have to be honest with you. Idea Virus is a better book than most books I've read. So, I advise you to read it. I wrote a book in the year 2013 and I started selling it on my blog. I was making some money selling this book and I thought it was fun until I read the idea virus. When I read the idea virus around 2015 or so, I discovered that I shouldn't be selling that book but giving it out for free. I started giving this book out for free and as a result, I'm making 10 times more money from giving this book out for free than when I was selling it. This is counterintuitive but it works because you need trust before you can get people to pay you money. What is the better way to get people to trust you than to give them something of value for free? Not that you should start giving all your products out for free. I'm only telling you what I did after reading the idea virus. The lesson you'll get from this book might differ from mine. So, read it. I hope this list makes sense to you. If it does, watch other videos from our channel. We love you.